Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia, if you guys are new here. And on this channel, I make clean beauty and non-toxic living content. So if you guys are interested in that, please hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my everyday glam type of look. This is the type of makeup I'll wear if I'm wanting to have a little bit more coverage if I'm going somewhere a little bit nicer and I don't want to take like five minutes to do my makeup but I still want it to be kind of quick and easy and not too over the top. So if you guys are interested in seeing that then just keep on watching. I um, am going to do a little bit of skin prep. I'm going to be using this Pacifica C and C Love Vitamin Serum. It's like their vitamin C serum. This is actually a new product for me, but I wanted to include it today since I'm going to be kind of testing it out. Vitamin C is better to be used in the morning because it <laughs> just covered my mouth. I was trying to talk because um, it is better for like protecting against sun damage. And you're just pressing that in. And I have tried this once before and it really sunk in really quickly. I really enjoyed just the way it kind of melted right into the skin. So it has vitamin C and marine extract so hopefully it'll help brighten some of my discoloration spots that I have from past breakouts. And then I'm going to be using kind of their paired moisturizer, their CNC Bright Luminizing Face Lotion for today. I'm just going to take like a little drop of that Rub it between my fingers and then just kind of massage outwards. It kind of smells like watermelon to me. It's very moisturizing and it's like a good, good under makeup moisturizer because it's not too thick. It's just like your everyday type of face lotion. I'm just gonna rub that really in around areas when I where I get a little bit more dry. <laughs> This face I'm making is hysterical. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pat that in. We'll be good to go. All right, I think that's sunken in a little bit, so I'm gonna move on to my base. Today I'm gonna be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. This one is really great when you want a more full coverage foundation that's gonna last all day and has nice ingredients. Tarte is vegan and cruelty free. It comes in this little like dropper type deal so you just pinch the top pull it out and squeeze the bottom it's super liquidy it's gonna run down my hand um, but it dries down really quickly as well so I like to work in sections with this I'm just gonna take it on my finger draw it around my face anywhere I have a little bit of extra redness um, and then I'm gonna take my real techniques foundation brush I'm gonna start patting that in and then blending it down and buffing it in so I like to stipple it on first, get this earring out of the way, and then buff it down my neck. It looks a little bit too dark for my face on camera, but in person it matches pretty well. So yeah, I'm just tapping that in, and then buffing it out. So yeah, that is already sunken in, already dried, already set on my face, so that's really really nice and it lasts really awesome through lots of heat one time I wore this at a grad party and it was like blazing hot and I was sweating but my makeup did not move and I was impressed move my earring back so I'm tapping it again in again and then buffing it I'm gonna tap it over my chin because that's where I have some of my scars from past breakouts and where I tend to get some congestion and some just some things I want to cover. Right, so my cheeks and my nose and around here is blended and I just need to get <laughs> my very white forehead. So I'm still working with that same amount. I'm going to take whatever's left, dot that on my forehead, and then do the same exact thing. Just tapping it and then buffing it, tapping it where I want more coverage. So for me, I tend to get a few congestion, discoloration marks in between my brows, and then I just buff it up. Again, it blends so nicely into the skin. It takes like zero effort 
for me to get it all blended and nice and set. And so now I have just like a teeny tiny bit left on the back of my hand. So I'm just taking it on my brush and I'm just going to pat it on areas where I have a bit more scarring and things I want to cover. Okay, I think my base is done. I'm going to move on to some concealer. So for today, where'd it go? I'm going to be using Revlon's new Candid Concealer. This one, Revlon is not vegan and cruelty free. So if that is a big no-no for you, then I wouldn't pick this product up. But their new Candid line is um, doesn't have parabens in it. It doesn't have fragrance in it. Um, it has antioxidants in it. So it's kind of Revlon's like first step into more of like the clean beauty realm. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to do kind of like a triangle deal. So I don't like fill it all in, but I just do a few swipes in more of that triangle area. And I don't get it too close to my eye, I kind of leave a little bit so that I can blend upwards and so that um, it doesn't get too like in my creases, into my under eye creases. So I'm just going to take one swipe there, one swipe there, and we'll call it a day. This one has really nice coverage and I really like it because it goes when with this like more full coverage base. I love my Juice Beauty concealer for a more like everyday light natural makeup. Um, but this one is nice when I want a little bit more coverage and this one dries down really nice and you don't need to set it with anything I find. It'll just it'll dry down. I'm just going to take whatever's excess and buff it on my eyelids to kind of prime for my eyeshadow. Kind of see what that looks like. My brows are a little bit better today. It's still not great, but I've been trying to tame them a little bit. This one's just like 10 times longer than this one, and I just don't know what to say. So here's the base. I've highlighted a little bit. I've got some coverage, got a nice even base, and I think we're ready to go. All right, for eyes, I'm going to be using Tarte's Glam on the Glow. I Glam on the Glow, <laughs> Glam on the Go eyeshadow palette. Let's see. I don't know if that'll zoom. But this is super cute. It has like, um, I don't know what that's called, but it like changes the picture as you move it. Holographic? No, that's not holographic. Um, and it's like really nice. It has a lot of like summer warm shades in there. So I'm going to be starting with this pale white color. I'm going to be using these double-ended eco tools brushes today for to do my eye look these are so nice they're kind of hard to store because they are um double-sided so you kind of have to keep one on the ground when you store your brushes like up this way but they really have like everything you would need for an eye look kind of seem the same so on these sides we have like more of a fluffy flat shader brush and more of like a smudger definer and then when you flip them over you've got your nice crease brush mm -hmm. and then you've got like your angled brush for liner or something like that so I'm really excited. I'm going to take my more fluffy flat shader brush and I'm going to dip it into that cream shade down here. I point at this one, that's a shimmery one. So I'm just going to swipe that in there, tap off the excess, Ooh, that was a little bit dusty and then I'm just going to Take that all over my lid. It's nice because this one has a mirror inside of it too. So it really is great for on the go if you wanted to travel or something. I'm just going to build that up. And this will set down that concealer that we had on there and kind of give us a nice even base for shadow. Great. I think we're ready to move on. So I'm going to use the Crease Blender Brush. It likes to focus on me and not this eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to dip it into this like more warm tone brown shade on top up here. What's it called? Ambition. So I'm going to take that more warm tone brown shade, just dip into that. I'm just going to lightly do that in the crease. So I start right here in the middle and then I like to buff on the outer edge lightly. So I do windshield wiper motions and then more buffing motions on the side because I like to kind of elongate my eye. So I don't like to do too much in here. I like to kind of make it go outwards. So again, I'm buffing kind of in that middle crease. It can be pretty sloppy. And then just on the outside edge, just building up that color ever so slowly. So that's kind of all in blended. I'm going to take 
that and just kind of buff it out just a little bit more over here. Make them kind of even. Boom. All right, and now I'm going to take, I think I'm going to do this like bronzy golden shade right down here. It's called Boss Babe. I'm going to take it on, I'm going to take it on more of this definer brush. Still wanting to zoom in on me. But it's kind of like that smudger definer brush. And I think that this might be nice to kind of try to pack on that color on the lid. So I'm just going to dip it in here. And I'm just going to swipe that in the middle of my lid. Might just go in with my finger. I feel like this isn't pecking it on as intense as it wants to be. I feel like your finger is just so much easier. And like the oils from it really help the... Um, the pigment shine obviously when you're doing your makeup wash your hands so that you don't have dirty hands but this one is really nice so I'm just packing it on more on the I'm leaving kind of this inner corner blank because I'm going to use another shade from that but I'm getting it right in the middle of the lid to the outer edge I'm going to use my um, crease brush again and nothing on it I'm just going to blend out where those two shadows meet so that it's seamless from one to the next no, I think I'm going to zoom you guys in. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Alright, so now I've got this nice, like, warm tone. These are just two shadows. And so I think I'm going to use just a touch of this more, like, red-toned sparkle shade over here. And I'm going to pack that right on this outer edge. I think I'm going to use that... I think that the definer brush will be good for that. I'm just wiping it off the excess. So I'm going to take that in. I think that'll be nice because I don't want it to be too intense on this outer edge. I just want like a little bit to be right on this outer third. Crease brush and blend. So I'm really just working on elongating this eye right here and give me more of that like almond shaped look. And now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm packing it right on this outer, outer edge of the eye. And then I think I'm going to just take my pinky finger. I'm going to dip into this highlighty shade. I'm going to hit the inner corners of my eye. All right. And then I'm going to take a smudger brush finally again. And I'm going to go into that crease shade that we used originally. I'm going to hit the lower my lower lash line with it just the outer edge of it I feel like this helps like just it all kind of blend together really just doing that outer edge not coming in here at all Always blend. Blend until your arms fall off. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the eyes. It's this nice, like, warm toned, smoky eye. I think I'm going to do the brows, mascara, and then come back and kind of fiddle with the eyes a little bit more because now I look kind of crazy. So, um, for the brows today, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Brow Gel. It's like kind of like the natural version of a. Let's see if you guys can actually read it of the Wonder Brow. It has, if you pull this lid off, it has a spoolie right here and then you twist this off and it's like this angled brush with some product on it. So you really need to wipe that off. So first I'm going to just run this through my brow. So I like to start in the middle. And then work my way down on the brow and just kind of make that shape. And then really just focusing on the middle and anywhere where there is like bald patches. Alright, so those are the brows done. I'm going to put on some mascara. Then we'll move back to the face and finish this whole shebang up. So for mascara today, I'm going to be using my Tarte 
Lights Camera Lashes. I think this is like their, their limited edition packaging. I'm just gonna rub this through my lashes. All right, there's my top lashes done. I think I'm going to, I think I have a little black dot right there. I'm gonna hit lightly my lower lashes. And I feel like I kind of need a little bit more definition on this eye, so we'll see. I might do my face and then come back and add smudge something on my lash line. I do find this is really nice for the lower lashes. I really do like this one for that because it, it takes a while to like build up so you can get kind of that like fluttery bottom lash effect. Um, another Tarte product is their like Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette which is again really nice for on the go. You've got your highlighter, your blush, your bronzer, contour. It's like it's not super warm tone, but it's not super cool tone. It's kind of like in that middle. So I'm going to take the bottom one. It's called Farmer's Market. I love the Farmer's Market. And I'm just going to take this Duo Fiber Stippling Brush. This one's from It Cosmetics. I do really like this one. And I'm just going to rub it in there. It is kind of dusty, so you kind of need to get that. But I'm just going to stipple that. It is nice for on the go. It's kind of hard to get just the the amount of color that you want because sometimes if you're using a bigger brush it can kind of get into the other colors but it is nice so it kind of adds like that like medium color and it just gives me like a little bit of definition right there I'm gonna do the same thing tap it in there and kind of use circular motions to blend it back up towards my hairline. So again, circular motions blending up towards your hairline doesn't drag your face down and it kind of gives you that more of a lifted look. Alright, now for blush, Sonia Kashuk blush brush. Um, Tati Westbrook, if you guys, I'm sure everyone knows her. She raved about this for years, and so I picked it up, I guess, like two years ago, and I've loved it ever since. I'm going to take it into the middle blush color called Summer's House. Cute, cute names. And again, circular motions blending up towards my hairline. So again, I like to use a mixture of buffing circular motions and some stippling to get the product on. And for my face shape, I take it from here and blend it up. I find that works really nice. I'm going to take a little bit on my nose to give me that sun-kissed look. Finally is highlight. I love that it comes all in the same palette. I'm going to use my... This is my kind of go-to all-around brush. This is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I use it for blending out concealer, which you guys saw me do. I like it for highlight. I like it for all kinds of stuff, so I'm just going to tap it in here and hit the top of my cheekbones. Ooh, ooh, she's shiny. That is bright. Woo! I think that was a little bit too intense, so if you ever get your highlighter too intense, just take your foundation brush and just stipple it over it. And it kind of takes down a little bit of that shine. The face is almost done. I'm going to take my hair down. And we're going to finish up with some lips. I'm going to be using my Origins favorite lipstick ever. The Sweeter Than Honey 05 one. I'm sure you guys have seen me use this. You guys have seen me talk about this in every single video I've made so far. But it is truly the best. Because it goes with every look and I don't need a lip liner with it it just blends and goes with everything that I am using and alrighty guys thanks so much for watching this get ready with me I hope you guys found some products that you um, want to try out please let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from me next don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and give this some um, this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, it was really great hanging out with you again and I will see you next time.